Hello, welcome back. A quick one then on XRP. So what's going on with XRP right now? So on the daily, uh, XRP is failing to make a higher high. Um, it was looking very, very good before. Then we broke down and went to basically a brand new low for the year, just above 20 cent, which was tragic. But then we got bought back up on the, uh, what I would, what I call the uh, the Friday sale of XRP. And the Black Friday sale that'll be, and um, and we've been making significant moves, looking quite bullish until we got to this uh, 200 EMA, which unfortunately is still sloping down, which is not good, and we were rejected from there in the first pass. Um, now uh, Bitcoin has been making some significant moves, we all know that, and that has impacted all the alts as a result. You can see how this isn't just XRP; this is this is all. Um, old coins uh, drop off the end of a cliff when it comes to its sats level but um, you know Satoshi's aren't everything um, money is definitely very important and Tether represents our money and um, it's it's looking okay but we haven't yet made our um, we haven't yet made our higher high and again we've been rejected from this area which is the uh, the downward sloping uh, 200 exponential moving average um, if we can break above there, then we can really start to talk about being bullish. Uh, but until we break above there, we can't really be bullish. Um, all we can say is we are we're making moves. We're recovering. We're definitely building up. But you, you know, it, to be down at this level was never in a good. It was never good in the first place. Uh, we came back down to this level when um, Bitcoin did its thing. That's about twenty-five cent. Um, the levels that I would be looking for if we did break above this um, it wouldn't be a parabolic move it would be between these which are two conversion and moving averages one is the 242 um, which isn't that which is, is, is important to Bitcoin it's not that important to XRP and the other one is the uh, the 200 simple which is generally an alright um, sort of uh, one to be looking at now what we do have is um, a, a relatively good spread but it's not perfect it's not perfect at all spread of the other moving averages and we're above almost all of them um, but um, again what we need to have is we need to have these above these two these two need to be underneath us until they get underneath us we can't be bullish um, we can say that it's a bullish move what's happening right now it's definitely positive but we're not bullish until these two are beneath us these 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 guys have to be underneath us um, for us to call ripple bullish uh, and at the moment we're, they're above us and we're being rejected from them um, you need to have um, a 200 exponential and a, and a simple beneath you um, for any chance of some significant moves because they will turn to support and then hopefully at that point we will launch from there and we'll stay above there uh, and we'll, the, the more distance we've got be, be, uh, between these and, and the actual candle um, sticks the better the fact that we're trending beneath them, we're being rejected from them, is, yeah, like I say, it's, it's unfortunate. It's, it's not the way we want to see it. We don't want it to be like that. Um, the only other thing I could say in its in its uh, defence here um, with uh, XRP is that we have had a cross here on the Ichimoku cloud at this level here, and that would suggest a continuation of the move. Now it's only on the daily. Let's have a look on the weekly to see if we have any um, sort of clearer information on the weekly. Mm, no, we don't. We we actually had a cross to the down over here, which would mean continuation to the move down. So I'm more inclined to to look at a weekly when it comes to Inishmoko Cloud, and uh, we had a we had a, a, a cross down here, which would generally mean continuation. And our price action at the time was here, which is pretty much where we are now. So I do believe that we've got further to go to the downside with 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 XRP in the in in the short term. We'll see lower XRP than 30 cent again. We'll probably be back down into the 25 cent. May, might not get down to 20 cent, but um, the lower 20 areas, 20, 24 perhaps, maybe maybe a little lower, and um, could be revisited. Um, because I do think that even though Bitcoin's looking very strong now, I think it needs to consolidate more. And then, depending on how far it consolidates, means uh, you know it has a chance to go back down to where it was. I mean, that was a big bold move, 30, 35 percent in a day. Um, it needs to. Well, it doesn't need to do anything, but it's likely to consolidate. It's likely to come down a little further. 
Um, I'll leave it with you there. So in a nutshell, um, yep, XRP is looking okay in the short term, but any any bigger move than 30, 32 to 33 cent uh, would be unlikely. We're almost more we're more likely to be rejected from this. First of all, at around 31 cent and 32 and a half cent would definitely find a rejection. Now, if we did break above there, we'd be bullish, but it goes against the long term. Uh, analysis that I've got here on the weekly and you know that will come to an end but at the moment it doesn't look like it wants to end it definitely looks like it's got another month or or six weeks or so um, of of downwards trending um, so yeah like I say 33 cent tops and um, 24 cent 22 cent bottom I'll leave it with you there thanks for watching take it easy